Hello, I'm Artifacts of Mars, and I'm just going to do a quickie to dispel some of the myths. I got to gather with my sister and, sister and her husband and my brother-in-law. I brought up the uh, subject of scoop marks, because every now and then I get these marks that come from out of nowhere. Uh, in the early morning hours, they come from out of nowhere on my body, and I've tried putting myself under surveillance and found nothing. At any rate, first thing out of his mouth, bed bugs. We're going to, I'm going to put a lid on this myth right now. Bed bugs are incapable of causing types of injuries. In my case, they're usually abrasions about an inch to an inch and a half long. I call them scratches, but they're more like abrasions. Where the skin's apparently been scraped off. And they come to me in the early morning hours when I'm asleep, and I'm usually dressed very heavily. And couldn't reach myself even if I wanted to. So here's the wiki on Sima City. Bed bugs, basically. These are parasitic insects. They don't have the necessary mouth parts to be able to injure humans the way I have been injured and some others. I'm going to try to get uh, a few pictures for you, too. They don't have necessary mouth parts. Now, they can cause allergic reactions. They're not nice. They're very nasty creatures. When they cannot cause this type of injury. Simple and basic. They don't have the necessary mouth parts. They don't have any parts on them that they can do. They're parasites, by definition. Now, if we've got that cleared up, bed bugs cannot cause scoop marks. So, what's the next thing? Another, uh,. Critter, and this one's rather maligned, is the Dermaptera, Order Dermaptera, the earwigs. Earwigs are these annoying little uh, creatures with those uh, mandibles on the back, on their behind. They get their name from the mistaken belief that they crawl in people's ears. That is a myth. Earwigs are harmless to humans, but again, you talk to people about alien abduction, this might come up. It's not going to happen. They're minor agricultural pests. They're annoying, but harmless. They cannot crawl in your ears. They don't, they cannot cause scoop marks of the types of things. I've seen. So, could they be fleas? Again, fleas have piercing, sucking mouth parts like bed bugs do. And they cannot cause the types of injuries that uh, I've been getting on my body and others do too. They can't cause it, it isn't possible. It's, uh, these things are in order of Siphonaptera, which means they suck your blood. They are basically parasitic, just like the uh, other ones. Man. Okay, uh, these types of things. This isn't a great sight, but it'll do. These are small surgeries that people apparently have. That they just come from out of nowhere. It's like I said. They come from out of nowhere in the middle of the night, early morning hours. Now, look at this guy, uh, thing on this one guy's hands. 
hand. I've had other people tell me they've had this experience too. So, that's more of a design. I've never had a design really. I just have these random abrasions on me. That gives you an idea of the type of thing that we're facing. The problem is, the instant you want to talk to people about it, it's one of two things. A, you have bed bugs, like I've already dismissed that. Or B, you need a psychiatrist. Well, if I know I'm not doing it, and I know that these other people probably aren't doing it either, there are some people, I just call them cutters, who do cut themselves, but those are usually teenage girls uh, who have psychological issues. So we'll scroll down and take a look at some of these. They aren't caused by cat scratches. They aren't caused by cat bites, animal bites, mice, rats, rodents. I think people will know when they're being bitten by a rodent. At any rate, these things we're seeing really couldn't be caused by that anyway. You see these marks? This is AlienJigsaw.com. And we don't really know what causes these. Uh, a couple of their photos could potentially be... This one almost looks like a TB time test. I don't think so. I don't think they use those four-pronged tines. If you know what that is, they touch you for TV and they stick you with a needle and if it grows red then you're screwed because you have TB. Don't ask me how it works because I don't know. You can see there's lots and lots of photos here of people you get these marks on their bodies and they just come from out of nowhere. Mine are unusual because I get the scratches, abrasions, however you want to put it. So mine are a bit on the unusual side. But this is just showing you what's going on. They aren't caused by insects. They are not caused by arachnids. What do arachnids have in com common with uh, insects, the ones that do bite, which would be around here, the only arachnid that bites is ticks. Ticks have the same thing in com common with uh, mosquitoes in that the female has to drink blood in order to lay her eggs. That's why they bite you. I don't know if the males bite or not. I don't think so. I would have to look that up. At any rate, so let's get off the cornball explanations. If somebody says bed bugs, they are lying to you. Plain and simple. It is a lie. If somebody says you got earwigs, they are lying to you. Earwigs cannot harm human beings. It's a myth. An utter, utter myth. They're only an agricultural pest. And if I'm wearing every... I don't have any cats, so uh, that rules cat scratches out. But, these, but the abrasions that I've had have generally been far too wide to be cat scratches anyway. These people aren't using their heads. And what they want to do is they want to provide an explanation that mollifies and pacifies. Mollify, pacify, derail, but don't discuss, actually discuss the subject with the person because we can't do that. We can't humor them. We can't say, well, we can't take these things seriously after all. They can't be happening. Uh, I'm going to have one more note before I go. I've seen 
the born agains saying that this phenomenon is that this phenomenon you call him the name is Jesus and that's how you stop it. Uh, this is a physical phenomenon. Your religion is fine for pews on Sunday. Put your money in the collection plate. Listen to the preacher man or woman. Give their sermon and there, your religion is done for a week. So it has nothing to do with religion, folks. This is a physical phenomenon. Some blame aliens, some blame other things. It's real, whatever it is. Now, unless you can prove somebody's actually scratching themselves, I put myself under surveillance. So unless you can actually prove that, that's not an explanation either. And it certainly is not any type of creepy crawly doing this. I seriously doubt that even army ants, which are in Africa and would not survive our climate here, seriously doubt that even they could do this type of injury. In, in fact, there's only one insect around here that I'm aware of that has, that is carnivorous and has necessary mouth parts and the size to do this type of thing, and that would be the praying mantis. Order orthoptera, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, praying mantis is harmless to humans. It is a predator that eats other bugs. All right, that's it for today. Uh, today, scoop marks haven't been proven one way or the other to be caused by aliens or anything else. But they cannot be caused by bed bugs and things of that nature. I just want you to remember that. So it has nothing to do with bed bugs, earwigs, cat scratches, and calling on the name of Jesus will have no effect on this problem. I'm sorry. I'm an agnostic, I'm sorry. Uh, this is a real phenomenon. I'm not being dogged by little de uh, foul-smelling, pitchfork-carrying demons. It doesn't even enter into the discussion. I'm Artifacts of Mars, thanks for watching.